No. So obviously I need to qualify that because I know a whole bunch of you are going, I'm going to press that dislike button. Um, so first of all, I know you're not an idiot. Uh, the media loves to overly sensationalize uh, half-truths and exaggerate them to make you feel scared uh, because that's what sells newspapers. Um, but I feel I have a duty to dispel that as a member of the home automation community. So let's try and dispel the myths one at a time then. So first of all, I want to address the people that think that Amazon literally have someone listening to their conversations all the time. How many employees do you think they have? Uh, there are 7 million echoes in circulation before Christmas. So I imagine the total number is now more than 10 million. Uh, people have to sleep. So if they've employed a whole bunch of people just to listen to your conversations, uh, we have to assume there are 20 million Amazon employees specifically hired to listen to your individual conversations and to judge you and decide whether your uh, information is worthy of passing on to the NSA or the CIA or the FBI or whatever it is you think is happening. Um, so that isn't happening. Amazon hire 268,000 employees currently, uh, and they're all doing something slightly more important uh, than telling the CIA what you had for dinner. Uh, so that is not happening. <laughs> So I imagine most of you aren't murderers, uh, most of you are not terrorists. Uh, if you are, screw you, so I don't care about you anyway. Um, if you're not one of those people, I imagine the worry for you is that you're being judged in some way. Uh, now, I have to say, this is akin to worrying about your calculator seeing you naked. Uh, there isn't literally a person listening into the conversations. They're not even listening to one a week of your conversations. They're never listening to you. Uh, there is literally a computer at the other end that is listening out for the keyword Alexa or Echo. And I know I've just triggered a bunch of your devices, so I apologize. Uh, I suggest you switch their microphones off. Um, and it is listening to three seconds before that to try to establish context. Um, now, how is that possible? You're probably thinking they must be recording all the time. And they probably are. Um, I can't think of any other way of them doing it but they're not keeping that data permanently because they don't have enough storage space. If you record a WAV file on your PC and you then go to the properties and look at the size of that WAV file, and then imagine that there are more than 10 million, say, Echo Dots out there at the moment uh, being recorded all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Amazon are not keeping that data. Uh, that data must be being uh, eradicated probably within minutes when it establishes it's not useful. Um, now, I'm not saying Amazon don't take a text-based uh, information from that recording at some point, because they probably do. Amazon are a company that like to sell you things, and targeted advertising is a massive, massive business. So they probably are listening out for words like toilet paper and Jurex and those sorts of things that perhaps you're using a lot of, and perhaps they want to sell you more of it. Uh, there isn't, however, a computer at the other end of this speaking to another computer and judging you. They aren't sitting there saying, ah, beep boop, Roger has bought more toilet roll. Ha! The computer is not interested in you on a personal level. Uh, and Amazon are probably not interested in you on a personal level. Amazon are interested in selling you things. That is true. Uh, but there isn't a person and certainly isn't a computer at the end of all this judging you. So I know there are some of you sitting there going, but I don't want them to. I don't want them to store that information about me. Me, 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 me. Perhaps have a little bit of a look in the mirror uh, and look how crazy you are. It doesn't matter. What difference does it make if a company stores information on how much bug roll you use? It does not matter. No one's judging you. Uh, it's not going to eventually land you in prison. Um, I don't really understand the logic. I don't understand what it is you're concerned about. Uh, and I don't think you do either. I need you I need you to take a good long look at yourself and think, what am I actually worried about? Uh, and then think, Paul's right, I'll buy myself an Echo, it doesn't matter. So are there recordings in the cloud of your voice that are kept permanently? Almost certainly. So Alexa is training herself to your very distinct voice and I imagine she takes recordings periodically um, so that she can make sure that she can understand you to the best of her ability. Uh, I know she takes at least one, and I wouldn't be surprised if she's taking them fairly regularly. Uh, but that is the only purpose for them. 
She is not storing your voice specifically to um, give to the CIA or the FBI or the NSA or any of those people. Uh, and I think the proof is actually in the pudding. Um, if you go and look up the news article where Amazon were asked to give recordings over um, to solve a murder, Amazon dug their heels so firmly into the ground because they don't want people to think that their data could just be given away at any point. They do actually value your privacy. Um, now, I know the worst of you, the, the biggest conspiracy theorists out there, are looking at me going, yes, but that's just in the media so that they can make you think that they're to be trusted when really they're giving all your data away. If you think that, that's fine. Again, are you a murderer? Are you a terrorist? Probably not. And so your data is not being passed over to the NSA uh, or the CIA or the FBI. I imagine if Amazon is passing that data over to the NSA and the FBI and the CIA, they're going... Amazon, stop passing us rubbish. I don't care how much bog roll Kevin orders. That's the end of it. You do not have a concern. Your concern is nonsensical unless you are actually a terrorist or a murderer. Um, if you value your privacy, I appreciate that, but you need to really think about what it is that you're valuing your privacy for, what difference it actually makes to your life, and what difference it makes to the lives of those around you, or even the wider world, because... I don't think it actually makes a scrap of difference to anything. You're not that interesting. So what do you guys think? Uh, sound off in the comments if you think I'm an asshole. Uh, I can take it. I'm a big boy. Um, I would like to let you know that this video is not to poke fun at people who are paranoid uh, and are struggling with this sort of thing in daily life. I totally understand um, everyone has their concerns over privacy. Um, if anything, this video is to try to help you understand this isn't dangerous. It isn't scary. Uh, your life is not that interesting to people like the CIA and the FBI and the NSA. Your life is interesting to you and to your family and to your loved ones and the people close to you. Uh, so stop worrying. I want you to stop worrying. And that's what this video is about. Um, or just hit that dislike button. I don't care either way. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you'd like to keep me doing this, because I love doing this, uh, you can donate to me on PayPal. Links are in the description. I'll see you next time.